On this episode of Value This with Dr. Lori, Carol had a lot of questions about reproduction furniture. Yeah, I, I've been just peppering you with questions <laughs> because I see this gorgeous old table and you tell me it isn't. Right, it's not old. It's not old. It's a lot younger than me. Right, a lot younger. It's about 20, 25 years old. So if it were a car, it would be classic. But it's okay, not a but car. It, but it looks like something that would be in the 1800s. That's right. It is a Regency style, or what's also known as a Duncan Fife style table. But it is made by Hankel Harris, which is a very well-known Winchester, Virginia company for making reproduction furniture. Good, high-quality reproduction furniture with pretty high values. When I hear reproduction furniture, I think... It's a knockoff, it's a ripoff, it can't possibly be worth anything, and you told me... Wrong. Yeah. Can't possibly be good. It is good. It's quite good, actually. But some of the ways that you would tell, for example, this is your typical, uh, in terms of style, 19th century, stylistic, um, China closet. So, but, it's, but it's relatively new. Well, it's 25 years old. Okay. Okay, so it's from the 90s, let's right. say. Uh, late 80s. This particular piece, one of the ways to tell is dovetailing. A hand-cut dovetail versus a machine-cut dovetail. Machine hands, we might slip up. A machine goes zit, 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 zit. It's always the same. And do you want that in a piece? Well, a piece like this, a Hankel Harris piece like this, Compared to its 19th century counterpart, this piece is worth somewhere around $20,000. The 19th century counterpart could be worth $100,000. Okay? But then there's this whole conversation about, well, this is from one particular period, and the table's from modeling another period, and the chairs are modeling another period. Now, for purists like me, I'd look at this and go, it's Regency, it's Duncan Fife, it's Chippendale, they're all mixed together, but most people just see this as an antique look. Okay. Right? And it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. But we need to know how to identify whether we're looking at a reproduction or not. So let's look at the under the table. Okay. One of the things I have to do with this big body is get it under tables when I do appraisals in homes. So at drlaurieV.com, I teach you what do you look for. So, for example, here, you are looking at, in fact, a very nice table. And this particular columnar, it's called an urn. See how it looks like an urn? Column with a tripod leg. So those legs and the paw feet like a paw of an animal, is very typical of an early 19th century style known as Duncan Fife. Okay. Lots of people have it. The banding here is beautifully done. It also has a leaf, which is typical of this particular time period. The banding here all the way around and not a scratch on it. When you're buying resale, when you're buying something on the secondary market, it has been used. You want to think about whether or not it has a scratch, whether or not it has some pitting, whether or not it has some kinds of problems. How much does that, say there were a big slice here, how much does that diminish the value? 50, 60, 80%. A lot. Okay. A lot. And you should ask for that if you go in. You someplace. should think about that. You know what I always say to people? Have a conversation. If you're not comfortable negotiating, just have a conversation. Oh, shopkeeper, I don't feel good about this. What can I do for that? Maybe they can help you with respect to a reduction in price, or maybe it's about a conservation issue. And remember, high style pieces like these Chippendale style chairs, for someone, you know, might say they go great with this. It looks fine. But you are going to, even with reproduction furniture, pay some pretty top dollar for these big pieces, these oh. statement pieces, oh, as they say. So don't assume that if it's not an original from the 1800s, right. that a reproduction right. means that it doesn't have a lot of value. That's right. And remember, something that's 25 years old is going to, odds are, be in better condition than something that's 250 years old. Okay. And okay? the, the machine-done dovetail on a piece that's the age it's supposed to be is fine. A machine, dove, a machine done dovetail will tell you, hey, I was made in, you know, after the Industrial Revolution, and you basically, this is what you're going to get. What's good about that is make sure you're getting a good brand name. That's what you have to think about. And, and they're marked. And they're marked. They're often marked. And the good brand names are listed also here and at drlaurieV.com. Okay, let's have lunch at this table. Yeah, it's let's. Gorgeous. Let's okay. do that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we're eating. Uh, you can watch this one again or wait for the next one. Value this with Dr. Laurie. Thanks, Dr. Laurie. Thank you.